just like the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial is irrelevant now. But unfortunately, it's still in the news. And I'm like, why, why are we still in the news? But we are because Amber Heard finally showed Johnny Depp that money. And I heard this and I was like, you know, it's going over all the tabloids and the people online are going nuts about it because apparently they made a deal. And I didn't know they made a deal, but they made a deal. And originally, Johnny Depp was supposed to be awarded $10 million. And then he was supposed to get, it was, it was like supposed to be like $5 million, but then, you know, for punitive damages. But then they changed it down to three sixty five hundred thousand because of the state restrictions. And then Amber Heard was supposed to get $2 million from Johnny Depp after this whole thing. We, we, we talked about this before. This has been a big clusterfuck, I would say, for a relationship. But um, they changed it. They made a deal. And they decide that Amber Heard would pay Johnny Depp a million dollars and it'll be done. And they just do this and be done with it and move on. And Amber Heard said, okay, I'll do it. It's a very difficult decision, but I'm not using this as an act of concession. Uh, but I'll, you know, I won't, I won't challenge it. I, this is not concession, but I'll give you a, I'll give you a million dollars. And then so Johnny Depp getting the million bucks. I know, right? He's taking the million bucks and he's donating it to, to, to charities. He's not pledging it. He's donating it. He's donating it to five different charities, Make Out Film Foundation, The Painted Turtle, Red Feller. These are really, Red Fellow, I mean, Red Fellow, uh, Tetriana Society, and Amazonian Fund Alliance. So he's going to give them all $200,000 of Amber Heard's insurance money. So it's not actually coming out of her pocket. It's coming from her insurance company, giving them a million bucks. So, And this is done. We think it's done. You know, it seems like it's done. You know, you have a court case in the UK, you have a court case here. Everybody was watching it over 20, you know, over like it was like right after lockdown, people are going nuts. We were glued to our TVs watching it too. But uh, it's it's good that she paid something though, right? It's, we're done with this, right, Sabrina? It's over with. This is it. Case closed. Or are we going to have some more of this coming up in the future? Do you think Amber Heard will go swiftly into the night? Uh, I mean, she doesn't really strike me as a type. Although we haven't heard much uh, much about her since this has gone down, except for that she moved to Madrid. Um, she did say though that. Um, her like all of the backlash and how vilified she was on social media is uh, typical and uh, also um, reminiscent of how women are like re persecuted for coming forward, which mm -hmm. like I really just wish she would shut her mouth when she's talking about people who are actually victimized. It's offensive, it's annoying, and it's hurtful to people who have actually been in a situation where they are abused. And like your fake crocodile tears and your bumblebee earrings and your nonsense is like offensive to people who are, like people who actually are like in a situation where they have suffered domestic violence, like they they are the ones that are coming after you and saying these things because they like you're making them look bad. People who need to step forward and have a voice are now afraid to because you made a mockery out of something that is very real for a lot of people. And that's a very offensive. The fact that he went down from getting a $10 million payout, which really would have been an $8 million and change payout, and is just letting her give him $1 million to donate, not pledge, actually donate, um, is insane because their entire relationship, all he did was give to her and her friends and her family and everyone lived for free and did whatever they want. He took care of her all the time. And she says it's not about money. Well, if she's not considering this a concession, like she's, she's agreeing, she's not agreeing to the fact that she was bullshitting this whole time and not defaming him and lying in that case then I think that you would absolutely 100% not have made a settlement. But you are all about the money. It's all you cared about. And that's why you're happy to have your insurance company, by the way, which I think is bullshit, pay the million dollars and you can just walk off into the night and not have to worry about it anymore. I think it's really offensive for, like I said, women in the situation. I think that Johnny Depp still comes out looking like a king, super generous, did the right, he did, you know, he's like, I just want to clear my name. He did that. He doesn't want the money. He's donating the money. Like, I, I just think it shows everybody what we already knew about the situation. And he's continuing as a rock star. That's what he's doing now. Good it's like, him. he's just rocking out and doing his thing. And, and, you know, it's good that these two just go out of the and way and, and deal with their lives. And yeah, it's just, it's just a lot. I mean, the whole case was a lot, right? Mike, Mike, do you think that Johnny Depp's going to come back from this? So do you think that he'll have a career again? He's going to stop rocking out and be a movie star again? Or do you think that this whole thing just tainted his whole life and he's done? I think that we're having the same problem that we always have in this kind of situation, which is that Sabrina comes across so very well thought out and erudite <laughs> and eloquent. And then you say, hey, Mike, what do you think about this situation? And I'm just like, with the banana in my hand, like just contemplating, uh, I, you know, is a, is a, is a settlement a, a concession of, or an admission of guilt? Okay. 
no, but also, is it yet? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> 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 Johnny, Johnny, I don't think he had any interest in dragging this out to the full end. Like, if he could get a settlement, that is enough admission that, like, oh, okay, like, maybe I did make some fraudulent claims. Or enough that you don't think you can make your case. Like, and the guy's clearly had his, um, he completely had the rug pulled out from under his acting career. Uh, so I think that just the symbolic gesture, and of course, he's amplifying that by donating the million dollars. Um, is enough to hopefully bring back the goodwill and the kind of uh, status that that he had. So hopefully his jobs come back. I doubt that Amber heard that everybody's going to want to be, you know, in bed with her anymore, uh, speaking in terms of uh, business relationships. I don't think people would trust being in bed with her, uh, unfortunately. In any uh, but capacity. No, she, said, she does in bed, yeah. In any but she capacity. Said, she said she's retiring in a way. She's stepping away from Hollywood. She said that she's been there with her kid in Madrid. And then also, but she has like one film that's like indie thing that just came out that she went to a premiere for. Yeah, but she said that she's stepping away from Hollywood. Pretending that it's her choice. Like I 100% agree with Sabrina. Like to play the persecution card when you are it's apparently provably you believe yourself to be in the wrong, in the wrong, at least a million dollars worth. It really just does. It harms everybody else that is in situations where they're not doing, I don't know, pe people that it's harming people that wouldn't settle because they're, de they know they're in the right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. hundred percent. What do you think, Sean? I see you over there thinking about this. How do you feel about this whole case? <laughs> I have nothing of value to contribute to this topic. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I mean, like, it was it was a shitty situation to be in. Uh, you know, like, I, I don't think that, you know, just having, uh, just watching the court case and watching Amber just fucking just do herself no, fav no favors the entire time. Like, the photos that she manipulated, like, it was just like, oh, God. Like, it was just not a good look for anyone. And uh, I'm glad it's over. I'm glad we don't have to hear about it anymore. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I think John, you know, I, I, I hope that Johnny Depp gets a chance to, to come back and, and have another career and uh, doesn't stay rocking. I, I haven't listened to any of his music and that's probably for good reason. Um, but, you know, it was just, hey. just a hard thing. What, I'm sure, you know, what, what does he do? Folk? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> 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 it's like I'm Hollywood sure it's Vampire is the name of his band or something like Hollywood Vampire or something like that but 100% anti-vampire so yeah it's not gonna work for me <laughs> I I know I just think that it's it's good that they just got this done honestly yeah. he should have gotten more money probably but the, like Mike, Mike was saying too it's an admission of it's almost like an admission yeah. of guilt in a way it's the you know it's symbolic yeah. it's like it's you know she's admitting like here's the money let's get done with this and it's a good deal for her too I think at the end That's of the day like a million dollars the only yep. reason to do it the only reason to do it is because you think think if it went if it went further along in the legal process that you'd end up paying out more yeah because yeah. she oh, yeah, had 100%. appealed initially she appealed and then he appealed and like then they're like well we'll just settle on you giving me a million dollars and i'll donate to charity and that's it you know yeah. so it's like very favorable outcome for her considering what it was going to be and she knows if she went through the process again that it's going to come out the same way Thank like you're not they, you're, they you're dragged it's not us gonna happen. all through through this whole situation with them like yeah. we couldn't we couldn't have done without this whole court circus <laughs> i know but it was good television it was good television people love watching it it Honestly, probably made it some was, youtube stars too i feel like it was necessary though because there was no other way that he could have cleared his name there's no other way that the public would have seen him as anything else aside from what she was accusing him as if we didn't all watch that trial like there's no yeah. way he would he like all the things that happened to him would have continued to happen and he would be where she is right now which is like you know in madrid under a rock you know what i mean like <laughs> there was no there's no way that he could have um come yeah. out of this with a yeah with a career mm -hmm. and without being labeled a wife beater uh you know and a drug addict abuser like there's no way you so like i you underscore the importance of how how important it is to get into those primary sources like when you can actually see people talking about the evidence in the courtroom like because that's a way you you feel a lot better about that than you know just commenting on uh on other people's opinions right yeah 100 yeah 100 percent yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, hopefully she goes away and this is done. We don't hear any more drama about this. It's just done and over with.